in the Premier League. It remains Aston Villa 1, Southampton 3, Liverpool 2, Newcastle United 2. Liverpool led 2-0 at one stage in that game. Fully here behind us confirmation that it is Loftus Cheek for William, who's taking his leave only gradually. And we've got seven minutes to play, plus stoppage time. Chelsea leading 3-1. Groves adjusting his glasses and the peak of his flat cap and carefully protecting his carefully handwritten notes in front of us from the gusting breeze that occasionally threatens to blow them away into oblivion. I was just um, checking one of my stats there and um, Chelsea hadn't lost home and away to a newly promoted team since 2001-2002 season. Well, that was Chan Affleck, so at least, at least they've exercised uh, that demon. They'll be really, really relieved about that on the bus. Well, tonight. little acorns of the season they've had, you've got to have some positives. Off to Cheek, to Fabregas inside the centre circle. Chelsea 3-1 up, Fabregas chips it forward, Pedro is going to be adjudged offside, is he? In the end, the assistant referee didn't raise his flag because the ball skipped through to Arto Boritz. And Boritz bowls it out immediately for Sermon, straight back into play by Bournemouth's side, who trail by two goals now. Elphick scored his first Premier League goal to give Bournemouth some first half hope. Earlier, Pedro and Hazard with his first Premier League goal of the season had established a two goal bridgehead for Chelsea, which they've now re established thanks to Williams goal in the 71st minute. This victory will lift Chelsea, if it is to be a victory, one place above Stoke into ninth in the Premier League. But it's uh, thin pickings for them. No Premier League defending champion has ever finished lower than seventh prior to this. They're going to struggle to get to seventh. Francis down the right for Bournemouth. Depth on the cross. Headed up, up, up and away by Azpilicueta for the umpteenth Bournemouth corner. I believe if they won their last five games, that gives them 59 points. That would be the lowest uh, points total by reigning championships, 1992-93, which was Leeds, 51 points. Your stats are coming into play, aren't they? Late in the day, maybe it's the quality of the game, is it, Perry? Or just the fact we found so much else to chat about. You've not had to resort to your stats-laden notes, but now they're making a very welcome, if late, entry into the afternoon's proceedings. Eden Hazard attacking down the right-hand side for Chelsea. Still appears to have abundant energy. Chips in an attempted cross. It's behind off Gosling for a corner. And... The sting has gone out of this game now, if indeed there was any sting in it in the first place. Yeah, I think Willian's goal to make it 3-1 just um, deflated almost uh, sort of balloon. And to be fair, I think it's been a really entertaining game. Bournemouth started, you know, very, very sprightly, very lively, high energy. Chelsea scored against the run of play. Chelsea have uh, shown, uh, shown quality on the ball in the final third. And uh, Bournemouth's energy levels just dropped. But it was a, it's been a good sort of tempo and pace to the game. Four games to go for Chelsea before they hand over their crown. Spurs at home. Next up, a week on Monday. Sunderland away, Liverpool away and Leicester at home on the final day. So still to play the top two. So they will have a, a big say in who takes their title. Joel Lynch has scored a goal to equalise for Huddersfield against Birmingham in the Championship. It's 1-1 at the John Smith Stadium. And here Chelsea 3-1 up and on the attack through Diego Costa. Turning the ball infield to Fabregas, 30 yards out in the centre of the pitch. The pitch which is now looking slightly scuffed. It had a sheen on it to start with, but boots have made their mark. Here's Costa trying to find room for a shot. Goes down inside the penalty area and a well-placed Roger East, the referee, says... Just get on with the game. Now, Russ Williams must be very excited now. He was certainly pretty frantic before kickoff when talking about Tottenham, I thought. I, I was hoping at one stage there might be a nurse on hand just to you know, make sure he was OK. Uh, but he's seen Aston Villa score a goal today. And, and not just that, Russ, but what's happened now? Well, I'm remarkably calm, John. So don't get people panicking. But Ashley Westwood has just got a second. Alan Hutton had a fierce shot that Fraser Forster just managed to get onto the roof of the net. The corner came across, and it, it, it just literally came across to Ashley Westwood, missed everybody else, right foot curler into the bottom right-hand corner. He's uh, scored twice. Aston Villa two, Southampton three, with four and a bit minutes to go. Does sound very calm, doesn't he, Perry? No, I think he's... Um his voice, I, mean, I just spoke about, well, I've, I've seen it. Oh, I've seen Westwood score one goal, so it's not much of a surprise, really. 
But it is, isn't it? Very much so. I can't remember having Aston West having two shots this season. I think that was called two goals. No. Pedro has it for Chelsea. Attempted back heel by Fabregas doesn't come off. Bournemouth momentarily have the ball back. And we're heading towards the conclusion of what, in the end, is going to be a fairly comfortable Chelsea win. 3-1 up with two minutes of the 90 to play. And uh, you had another mi near miss with the wind and your stats whilst we were away listening to, to Russ. Any, any more stats you want to shoehorn in, however inappropriately, between now and the end of the no, game? No, I, I think I'd, um, I'd like to save it until the, uh, the moment warrants it. And... Um, if not, I've always got the uh, from 5 to 5.30, haven't I, with uh, you have? Stoney and Wrighty to yeah. just shoehorn one in. Yeah, look forward to that. Uh, 1,382 visiting supporters as Richie and Fabregas have a, a disagreement and Roger East has to step between them. The total crowd, a full house of 11,365. Fabregas and Richie called in to a peacemaking summit by Roger Rees. Rock and roll football on Absolute Radio with Sky Sports. Don't miss Monday Night Football this week as Spurs entertain West Brom live only on Sky. No sooner do we reveal in a world exclusive the attendance than it's parroted by the PA announcer here. Doesn't raise a ripple. You always know you're struggling for entertainment, don't you, when the crowd applauds the attendance figure. Diego Costa. Or the Mexican wave starts. Yeah. Not right. had any sort of a wave here. Bournemouth fans politely stay more or less to the end. Begovic has waved a couple of times when they come up for a few corners. It's been a rather gentle day. I mean, if, if this was presented as a pre-season friendly, it wouldn't really look out of place hasn't been much of an edge. It hasn't needed to be, really. Chelsea have done what they've needed to do when they've needed to do it. They lead 3-1. 3-1 could become 4-1 here. They're attacking on the left-hand side with Hazard, but Hazard's ambition now is limited. Turns it back to Babar Rahman. And we're approaching the point of great excitement where the fourth official will tell us how much additional time we've got. I think what's how the game's panned out is um, Bournemouth showed that high energy and intensity, but they showed a bit of naivety when they had the ball, because when it broke down, Cesc Fabregas, as I said earlier, a few of the Chelsea players were what I call cheating, just waiting uh, to get themselves in possession, and his quality on the ball has been excellent with his two assists, and if you give a player of his quality that time and space, he's going to kill you. Matic, will we run inside the penalty area, turns it back, and goal number four is a second of the afternoon, for Eden Hazard. All the congratulations to Matic for setting up the chance. But Hazard, having gone 29 league games with...